Hey Canucks fans, our newest players have official jersey numbers. Let's talk about them. I am Canuck Clay, and this is my Canucks take on one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Wednesday, July the 27th. If you're new, here's what you should do. Hit the subscribe button now for daily Canucks insight that's positive, timely, and trustworthy. I want to record this vlog for a few reasons. Number one, to let you know that I'm alive. Yes, I haven't been posting that much because I've been quite busy here in Edmonton. But I packed up my hotel room. I'm ready to catch my flight in a couple of hours. So I had time to record this quick vlog. Number two, join me tonight for my live stream. I'll talk a bit about my trip. And more importantly, we'll talk about the Vancouver Canucks. So I hope you can join me tonight at my live, for my live stream at 10 p.m. Normal time, Pacific time on YouTube. And number three, just to uh, yeah, talk about these new jersey numbers for the Canucks. Some of them were anticipated. Others were uh, surprises. And let's talk about the numbers they chose and the history, if any, of each of these numbers. So let's start with, we'll go in numerical order, starting from lowest to highest. So the first one is Curtis Lazar at number 20. Now, the first thing you think about here is the fact that Brandon Sutter has worn number 20 for the last few years of his Vancouver Canucks tenure. We know that Sutter missed the entire season last season with the effects of long haul COVID, which is really unfortunate. I think Ben Kuzma did a story on Brandon Sutter as recently as yesterday saying that he still can't work out. He can't even play with his, go on long bike rides with his kids. So it's really, really sad as, most importantly as a person, as a husband and as a father, that Brandon Sutter cannot do that. So it obviously does not bode well for his hockey career, not just with the Vancouver Canucks, in the NHL completely. So we, we hope for a speedy and continued recovery for Brandon Sutter, but the reality is he will not uh, be in the Canucks plans um, going forward and that's because uh, they basically brought Lazari and not just take his number but to do exactly what Brandon Sutter does and that's be a right-handed centerman who can kill penalties and who can be in your bottom six so Curtis Lazar takes number 20 and if you're wondering there's been 25 players 25 players that have worn number 20 for the Vancouver Canucks before um, including Ryan Kessler for a couple years 2004 to 2006 Christian Rutu is another Ronnie Stern and then Chris Higgins, of course, for, for six seasons, and most recently, Brandon Sutter. So that is indeed number 20. Moving on up numerically to Colin Delia, number 60, 6-0. Six he will be our, uh, you know, fighting with Archer Seelovs as a backup option, um, a third string option, i.e. number one goaltender in Abbotsford. He'll be Delia as the veteran. I've always said that the Cubs would have to bring in a, a goalie, a veteran goalie to, to fight for a position and also be some insurance. So you have Delia, you have Seelovs, and you have DiPietro in Abbotsford. So Colin Delia takes number 60. If you're wondering what kind of history has been to number 60 for the Vancouver Canucks, Believe it or not, only one player, and quite recently, Marcus Granlin from 2016 to 2019, he wore number 60. There's a few numbers, it, by the way, as a side, as an aside for the Vancouver Canucks, that have only been worn by one player. Quinn Hughes, 43. Brennan Gauntz, 50. Bo Horvat, 53. Marcus Granlin, 60. Gino Ajax, 66. Tanner Pearson, 70. DiPietro, 75. Arthur Silas, 76. Colin, 78. Fedorov, 81. Godobin, 82, Pod Colson, 92, Bailey, 95. So it's kind of interesting that there's five or six players, Pod Colson, Horvat, Hughes, Pearson, right now that are the only players to wear that particular number for the Vancouver Canucks. Just some nice tidbit uh, info for you. So Colin Delia wearing number 60, most recently worn by Marcus Granlin. Then we have our highest, our most highly touted, touted free agent, that didn't play in the case. That was a horrible way. Let's talk about Ilya Mikheyev. He's going to wear number 65. And two players have worn number 65. Alex Grenier from 2016 to 2017. And Michael DiPietro from 2021 to 2022. So what does that mean? Well, DiPietro will have to take another number. He's He wore 65. He's worn 75. So I'm sure he'll stay with the 75. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm sure he'll stay with the 75. I think... I think he was wearing one, I don't know if he was wearing one in Abbotsford and then one he got, when he got caught up for the Canucks. Regardless, expect DPS to keep 75 and then Ilya Mikheyev will take number 65. And again, 65, only Grenier and DPS to wear that prior for the Vancouver Canucks. Then we have uh, Dakota Joshua, our new power forward, bottom six guy. He's going to be wearing number 81 and this is one of those where only one other Canucks player has worn it before and that was 
the immortal Federer Fedorov, who wore it for his, for his brief stint with the Canucks back in 2003, number 81, Federer Fedorov. And then, of course, Andre Kuzmenko. I was thinking about him because he's kind of like the other most highly touted, touted, highly sought after, highly touted free agent. And Kuzmenko will be wearing number 96. Of course, two players have worn that for the Vancouver Canucks. Pavel Bure, I know Bure is more synonymous with his number 10 that's in the rafters, but he did wear 96 for one year in 1996-1997. And then most recently, Adam Gaudet wore it for one year at 20 in 2021. And that was, of course, after Gaudet switched from his previous number of uh, whatever it was. What was Gaudet's previous number? I feel like he had an 8 in it, but I don't think that's right. 88? Yeah, did he go 88? That's right. Gaudet went from 88 to 96. So there we go, Canucks fans. We have five new jersey numbers for you. Curtis Lazar at 20, Colin Delia at 60, Ilya Mikheyev at 65, Dakota Joshua at 81, and Andre Kuzmenko at 96. Last thing I want to leave with you, and maybe we can talk about it a bit tonight on my live stream too. If you were an NHL player, or it doesn't have to be an NHL player, in any of your sports that you play, if you had a choice for jersey number, what's your jersey number of choice, either of sentimental value, of your favorite player, because that's the last jersey that they had on the rack and it's the only one that fit you, whatever the reason is. For me, there's two numbers. I like number eight and I like number 21. Number eight is because um, it's a lucky number in Chinese. As you guys know, I'm half Chinese. Uh, also, it's uh, the wedding anniversary of Gail and me. We were, we were married on July the 8th. It's the unit number of my house. So there's a re number of reasons why I like the number eight. So that would be one of them. I, I kind of like single digit numbers. I think it just looks really clean. So I would wear number eight, not because of Greg Adams or anything like that, although he's a very good player, but there's no Canucks, there's no Canucks um, connection for me. I like Connor Garland, but it's you know not because of that, he just got here, right? So number eight would be one. And the other one is number 21. And I wear 21 um, on my roller hockey team, the Holy Rollers. It is Kayla's birthday. She was born on December the 21st. And I, I just like that number for some reason. I like 22 because that's my birthday, but I like 21 as well. Um, but I think that's a secondary one to number eight for me. And if you're looking for Canucks players who've worn number 21, I'm just looking really quickly. 25 players, so very, very popular. Yeah, Niels Hoglander right now, Louis Erickson before that, then Sutter. And then uh, the one that really sticks out to me is Yurke Lume, who wore it back in the 90s so number 21 would be my second choice so for me number eight is my first choice number 21 is my second choice I'd, lo I'd be curious in the comments below let me know what your numbers of choice would be and tell me why okay friends shout out to my sponsors perform and transform personal training and weight loss and to van city experts real estate group thank you legendary lucas gates legendary justin credible legendary andrew chang and to hall of fame members and franchise members don't forget Hall of Fame and Legend. We have our group Zoom chat this Sunday at 8.30 Pacific. I will send a reminder about that. And hopefully you guys can all join me tonight at 10 p.m. Subscribe if you'd like to. Like this video if you'd like to. Become a member or upgrade if you'd like to. Leave a tip, a super thanks if you'd like to. And definitely leave a comment down below about the, co the cuts, jersey numbers, or your own favorite jersey numbers and why. And as always, I hope you join me tonight, like I said, at 10 p.m. And thanks for watching for sure. If you made it this far into the video, almost nine minutes in, just uh, type in home sweet home. Type in home sweet home because that's where I'm going to my home sweet home. And if you type that, then I know you made it all the way to this end, to the end of this video. Thanks guys, I missed you. I hope you missed me. I'll see you tonight. Stay safe, stay healthy. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Have a great day. God bless and go Canucks go.